All right, welcome back again. Uh, so what we're gonna do this time is is gonna be a pretty short video. It, it seems like it'll be short, uh, but we're gonna handle uh, when people click on the star button. Uh, so if you kind of remember what we're doing, um, you can click on the star button and that's all great. Uh, that's what we did last time. Um, and it literally says a message like, you press the star button, good for you. Uh, and that's because I know that, that how we're gonna handle it, you know, isn't done yet. And how we wanna think about it isn't done yet either. The real problem is, um, where this is called is kind of the wrong place to take action, right? So it's called inside this task cell, um, and it pressed the star button. And so like the things that we've got to do, I'm just gonna kill the comment, is we've got to, of course, you know, change the status of the uh, starred attribute uh, on this task. That wouldn't be too bad, because, you know, we've got access to the task. Uh, it was passed in up here. Admittedly, we didn't save off a copy of it, but, but we could. So we could do that task, um, and that wouldn't be terrible. The other problem is we need to resort the list uh, based on this update. And the problem with that task is, is this is really the wrong place to do that, right? So, I mean, this the responsibility of this cell is just the things that are inside of it, right? It shouldn't have to, like, resort anything. So we don't want to do those jobs here. Uh, what we really want is we want some mechanism to just inform somebody else that, that work needs to happen. So, I mean, who should be doing this work? And the, and the person that should be doing this work is really the task view controller. So what I really want to do is I just want to call the task view controller and say, um, you know, the button got clicked. And so there's various ways I could call in uh, to the task view controller and do the button got clicked. Um, there's a thing called delegation we could have used. We could just call a function. Um, but instead, what we're going to do is when they configure the cell, we're actually just going to pass in a callback function. The, the hard part about this is, is purely the syntax. Um, so what we want to do is we want to say if there is a star uh, callback function, so it doesn't exist yet, but it, but it will, right? Um, if there is a, a star callback function, uh, we want to call it, right? And so this is exactly like um, in Swift, they were called closures, right? So it's exactly like Swift closures. Uh, the one thing that's weird about Objective-C is if you look at the syntax on this, it's actually not Objective-C syntax. They're actually falling back to, to using some C style syntax. But the nice thing about that is Objective-C is a pure superset of C, so it's totally fine to do. So this is our goal. So, so we don't want to do any of these things here. Um, we just want to create a callback function that gets passed in, and we want to call it. So this is our goal. So what we've got to do, and the syntax is weird on these, we want to pass in a function that gets called, and the place where we're going to pass it in is right here. So we're going to pass in a star callback. Like I said, the syntax is weird, so here it comes. Uh, so you say what it returns, uh, which in this case is void. Uh, a caret in parentheses, which I don't know, this is how it works. Um, and then whatever you're passing into it, which in this case is nothing, right? And I'm going to call this thing my star callback. Great. Uh, so there it's passed into the function. Um, we still need to save it somewhere. So we need to say like self star callback. Um, and it's not auto completing because of how I'm typing this thing, uh, is equal to the star callback. We, we still don't have a property name this, so let's go fix that now because it's uh, getting really ugly. Uh, I could go put it in the, the .h file, uh, and that would be fine. But instead, I'm just going to use the, uh, the trick, which is really a category, uh, to just add some properties in the .n file. Uh, so I'll just say non-atomic strong. The order of that does not matter. Um, now I have to figure out what this thing is, right? So it, what type of object is it? Um, so it's a void carrot uh, and you would think it would just be a closing parenthesis but you actually put the name here and i can never remember uh, how these things work i always have to look at an example so to be honest like if i was you and i was using blocks in, in objective c i would use this star callback as my example uh, for how things work great so now it's a property uh, now we can set uh, we can pass something in and set it to that property we can call that property if it exists. The only thing we're missing is the .h file doesn't match the .m file now. So I'm going to copy this method, uh, and I'm going to go over to the .m file, and I'm going to paste it there, um, and I'm going to blow away the old one uh, and use just the new one. Cool. So we can pass in a callback, uh, and it'll get called. Let's go actually use it. 
Um, so I know that there's a lot of kind of new tricky things going on here. So hopefully we'll, we'll keep this video fairly short. The place we're going to use it is in the task view controller. Uh, before we just said configure uh, cell for task by task in the task. Now we're going to say with star callback. The trick I like to use here is I just like to hit enter um, and it'll actually kind of type some of the weird syntax for me because when you call it, it's a caret uh, and then curly braces because it's a function. Um, and so what I just want to do is I just want to say uh, the callback uh, mechanism worked. Do stuff uh, in the task view controller. So we'll just get to do our actual work right here, uh, which works out way better uh, than what we were going to have to do of doing that work over in the cell itself. So if I get this log, uh, I'm happy. So I've got to pick any of these uh, that has task in it, click on the button, uh, and you can see that it says that the callback mechanism worked, do stuff in the task view controller. Great. So we're still not actually doing any work, uh, but we're now set up to where we can do stuff in the right place. Um, so if you remember one of the things that we wanted to do, uh, so I should have kept that on my clipboard, um, but we want to change the star status, and then we want to, really we want to save, and then we want to resort the list. Uh, so those are really the things we want to do. So to re, um, kind of start at the beginning, uh, to change the star status, what we really want is we want um, access to this guy. So what I'm going to do, just to be a little sneaky, is I'm actually just going to save him off as task for row, just because it'll be easier to save him off. Uh, and then we can just form a closure uh, over the task for row, um, and we can just modify his starred behavior. One tricky thing about the starred behavior is that it's a number that wraps a bool. Um, so there's going to be another one of these tricks of boolean, you know, so number with bool. And then that's just going to be the inverse of whatever it was before, right? So the task for row dot starred value. Uh, but we actually want to convert it to a bool and then back. Um, maybe there's a better way to do that, uh, but I don't actually know what it is. Um, so I'm just going to do it the way that I know it works. So I'm going to give that a little bit more space just so you can kind of see it. Um, so the starred, which is a number, and we're going to make a number using a bool. And then we're going to take the old value, which was a number, convert it to a bool, um, and then we're going to negate it, uh, and then we're going to put it back as a number. Uh, just, just some little hoops you have to jump through. And then what we want to do is we want to save uh, this change so it's actually permanently um, consisted. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to resort the list. Uh, the one kind of tricky thing about resorting the list um, is that if you want the task array to actually resort, you have to set it to nil, and by setting it to nil, that, that's going to cause all this code to like run again. Um, and so if you set it to nil, and then you say table view reload, uh, then you'll actually get it reset. All right, now i got to go find my spot again. I would say I'm right here, so I'm going to say self.task uh, equals nil. I'm going to say self.tableView uh, reload data. Cool, that should be it, all right? So we... Uh, are doing the work in the right place, uh, we're saving the change, uh, we're blowing away the array, um, and then we're saying reload the table, which will cause the array to get remade um, as soon as it's needed, uh, which will be pretty much immediately. All right, so it's time to see if this works. Uh, so if I uncheck the ZZZ, uh, you can see that it drops down uh, into the other category. All the resorting happens. Uh, the lowercase m comes before the uppercase m. Uh, same with the trick here, right? So the lowercase m comes before. And so you can see that uh, by changing these stars, uh, they get saved. If you really want to be sure something's saved, I'm in the iOS dev and I've got the ZZs on top. So if I kill it and run it again, uh, and I go back into iOS, you can see my ZZs are on top. Cool. So that's uh, what we've got for this video. Um, there are a lot of little sneaky things uh, about setting up the, the callback mechanism. Uh, the syntax is just atrocious for callbacks, uh, but if you're wanting to use Objective-C and you want to use blocks, they're very, very popular, um, and this is just how the game works. All right, <laughs> see you next time. Uh, we'll add some more fun. See you then.